Hello! Today we are working on our song, or our piece of music, called Clarinet Blues. This was written by Martha Meir, or Meyer. It is on pages 2 and 3 of that book. So remember, the one thing we need to understand about this piece, the clarinet blues, is that we are playing soulfully with slow blues swing. Now, keep in mind that in order to serve or to, you know, play this with, you know, the right spirit, we have to think about that slow, quick, slow, quick, slow shuffle rhythm. Long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long. So the first step will be to play or to clap and count the rhythm of the right hand. Let's go ahead and try that together. So we have two measures where the left hand is simply playing the slow drag accompaniment and the right hand comes in. Let's try the clapping and counting together. One, two, three, four, one, and triple let three, four, one, and two, three, four, one, and triple let three, and four, one, two, three, rest. One, and triple let three, four, one, and two, three, four, one, and triple let three, and four, one, and two, three, four, one, and three, and, excuse me, one, and two, and three, and four, one, and two, and three, and four, one, and triple let, triple let, triple let, one, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, one, and triple let three, and four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, back to the A section, one, and triple let three, four, one, and two, three, four, one, and triple let three, and four, one, two, three, rest, one, and triple let three, four, one, and two, three, four, one, and triple let three, and four, one, and two, three, four, one, and triple let three, and triple let one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and of course we have the fermata over that chord, which means we hold it longer than its value. Practice one hand at a time when you learn this piece. For the remainder of this video, I will be given a demonstration of what this may sound like. Remember, when you play jazz, it's best to play without the pedal. Try your best to play it bare bones, as my teacher used to say. Here we go. One, two, three, four.
There's your example. The last chord does have pedal indication, so go ahead and use the pedal there. Everything else, try your best to play it as legato as possible. We'll talk a little bit more about articulations, etc. at our next lesson. Good luck!